I'm on the Hermitcraft server. Now that may not sound like a big deal for someone who regularly is on the Hermitcraft server, but it's a big deal for me this week. You see, this project... This project has been scaring me a little bit. I'm really happy with how much we managed to do in the previous Hermitcraft episode. I mean, we made a ton of progress. We made this much progress. which I think we can all agree is rather impressive. And now I'm left with this rather large stone blob of an armchair, which I'm very happy with. You know, I'm extremely happy with how we've done it. It's meant to look like this, but that's not how it's going to finish up looking. The next stage in the process is to turn this stone blob of an armchair into a green blob of an armchair, making use of shrubberies and all sorts of different bushes and greenery. And to be frankly honest, I've been really scared to do it. I've been so scared to do it that I haven't been able to log onto the Hermitcraft server for the past four days. <laughs> every morning, I've woken up with every intention to start work on my Hermitcraft episode, and every morning I've just sat there doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. I couldn't tell you what I've done for this whole week. It's terrible. It really is. And, and I don't normally go through that, but that's because this, as I say, this project is out, it's out of my comfort zone by like three miles and... and... Uh, I haven't been able to process that very well, so I've just sat. So today we're going to be starting off small. Instead of being incredibly daunted at the idea of doing the entirety of the greenery on this thing, I think I should tackle a section and really work out how I'm actually going to create this effect. What I'm going to do to make this thing look as good as it possibly can look. But first I want to check up on how rich we've become while I've been away. Okay, not that rich, not that rich. This is not good. That's good. That's good. That's good! That's very good! Oh my goodness! We are rolling in diamonds! I've actually got... I've actually gone and got a successful business. We're out of stock there. I need to restock that. We've got some diamonds there. This is good. Man. I'm gonna be honest. I think this might be more diamonds than I've earned in all of the previous Hermitcraft seasons combined. <laughs> I'm not joking. One full stack. And 12 bamboo. I want... <laughs> I wonder who that could be. My most valuable of items deserves its own chest. Let's get this cash cow restocked. All of the resources have been gathered and the final bits need to be dropped off. But I've just noticed something. A pressure plate has been added to the Harmless Harvest store. And this has not been added by me. There was never a pressure plate here. Somebody has installed a pressure plate into my store, which I feel like might be one of the most passive aggressive things you could do. Anyway, everything is now fully restocked. Everything is filled up so people can make their purchases once again. I'm not used to having to restock my stores because they never usually run out of stock. So this is a new experience for me. Normally, I just build the store, stock it once, nobody buys anything, and then the season's over and everything ends. Depressing stories aside, let's get to work on some greenery. So my inventory is filled with all of the various different green blocks that I'm actually going to need for this thing. And my only goal for today, instead of stressing about getting the entire thing fully covered up, which was causing me to have my minor breakdown, I'm just going to focus on getting this area done. I just want to get this area looking really good, put a lot of time into the details, really work out what sort of look I want to go for, and then we can expand that throughout the rest of the build eventually. And as far as the back is concerned, well, the, the back, I'm not sure when the back's ever going to get done, to be honest with you. I'm going to leave it and not think about it like a true Hermitcraft member. Anyway, here goes. First things first. Moss, I think, is going to be my friend in this build, so maybe... Should I just cover the whole top section in moss? Is that a good start? I mean, the crazy thing about moss is that I don't even really need to place it. What I need to do is just right click, and then it kind of spreads through all of the stone. This stuff is wild. Let's have a look. How is this? How is this working? Okay, that is... It's not, it's not a terrible start. I mean, it's definitely... That is a strong foundation, as far as foundations go. But the fact that I can just right click... And that creates a fairly interesting environment. It's pretty cool. The one thing that I totally hadn't thought of is, of course, lighting things up. That always tends to be the case with my builds. But I think utilizing the technique of placing these moss carpets on top of the torches does a pretty good job 
are just creating a fairly uniform light level without any obvious area where the light is coming from. It's as if we have radioactive moss blocks. I mean, sure, I got my moss blocks from Chernobyl, but they were half price, and that's it's not a problem, is it? The radioactive things actually glow? Like, that could be one of those myths. I feel like that might actually entirely come from The Simpsons, now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, as I say, we've got a pretty solid start here, but now it's time to start adding some variety into the mix, because right now it's looking very, very samey indeed. And this is where things can go real south real fast. Uh, I'm now... I'm now having to be creative here. It's no longer the bone mill that's doing all the work. I'm actually having to place blocks. And... Yeah, already... These carpets are being annoying. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I have str I straight up no clue. Absolutely no idea what's going on right now. I'm confused. I'm lost. I'm utterly bamboozled. But I think I need to go decently big on the leafage. I don't think there should be little strands dotted around here and there. These need to be like big overgrowths. And now that this overgrowth has used up all my leaves, I guess it's time for us to observe the absolute mess that I've made. Honestly, I'm not excited for this. But that's actually not bad. That is not bad. That is not bad. That is a good balance. That feels quite good. Yeah, that's a good balance between the moss blocks and the leaf blocks. And this feels rooted in reality. Am I getting better at Minecraft? Like, am I actually getting okay at something? Just imagine, I'm actually... I'm starting to improve at the game that I've been playing for the past 10 years. Finally, I thought the day would never come. So we have the beginnings of a top section taking shape. Now it's time to start getting the feeling of this overgrowth then running down the front and down the sides of this mountain and that that is by far the most challenging part okay th th this bit's the easy bit so i guess the thing that makes the most logical sense to me is to start building up from the bottom and just try my best to flow with the mountain and do this as organically as possible and those are all words that i'm absolutely terrified of and i'm starting to realize that maybe i haven't actually gotten better at minecraft maybe minecraft has just gotten easier with the introduction of the moss block i mean look this is like terraforming on easy mode i feel like this could be less humane than i think it is my statistics are still clear though so it doesn't matter anyway back to the moss blocks making minecraft easier thing all i've done here is right click on moss blocks with bone meal and it's done a pretty decent job at greenifying this cliff like this, this already is such a solid start. My anxiety about this project is quickly dwindling. I actually feel like we could be able to create something very cool and it is purely because of new developments in Minecraft and absolutely not because of any talent increase on my part. If anything, I've gotten stupider. I've been doing some serious bushing lately and I think I'm getting somewhere. I think I'm starting to understand how this works and that looks pretty cool doesn't it that looks cool forget that grass block there that's a, that's a piece of scaffolding please ignore it way with you yeah i'm happy with this i am happy with this 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 structure actually works really nicely this 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 foundation that's the word the word is foundation i struggled so much to think of that word in the last episode this foundation it's actually really good. It's really good to work with. I did well. God, what's this episode going to be called? Mumbo pats himself on the back for 20 minutes. You know, Mumbo Mumbo bigs himself up for half an hour. What is this? I want the old self-deprecating Mumbo hates himself guy back. Yeah, he was he was way more fun than this arrogant bush placer. This big-headed spud eater. Which actually reminds me, in England, if someone is full of themselves, they think they're really great, you can refer to them as Charlie Big Potato. And, well, I guess that's me. Literally a potato. And a big one. We are at the five hour mark in terms of progress and I've reached the edge of where I want to go on this side. The reason that I'm not planning on going any further is because Grian's mountain that he's constructing here is actually going to connect up into my base as well. So we're going to connect these two things together using terraforming and we're essentially going to have a base that is connected, a dual base, a double base. Now this is incredibly exciting for a number of reasons and I can't wait to see what it looks like once it's all fully constructed. However, I think we all know that if he decides to make his mountain taller than mine, then you best believe I'm going to go back and add some more onto the top. <laughs> you best believe I'm not gonna be the smaller mountain in this crew. This right here is my last leaf block. That is the last one that I had. I've raided Harmless Harvests. That's now fully sold out of leaf blocks as well. I've used up all of the ones in my storage system. They are all completely gone. And this part is, well, it's mainly covered. If we just spin around and take a look, you can see that it looks, it looks mega. I'm really, really pleased. I, I cannot tell you how pleased I am. Now, there is going to be more leafage going down here. I just ran out before I had a chance to do it. But still, I am so, so pleased 
with what we've managed to do here. It's taken me about seven hours to get to this point, which is actually around about in line with what I was expecting. So if we imagine another seven hours to do this, 14 hours here, and then maybe another 14 hours up there, it's a, it's a big project doing the foliaging. And once again, I'm not even going to think about the back. As far as I'm concerned, the back currently doesn't exist. Well, actually, I guess that is a factual statement. The back literally doesn't exist. But considering I spent the entire week, pretty much, running up to this recording session, just so scared of placing any blocks and not wanting to log onto the Hermitcraft server because I'm so terrified of getting started. I know it's daft, but that genuinely is the case. The huge weight that has now been lifted off my shoulders, knowing that I've made a start on this project, and I actually know what I'm doing, and we are actually heading in the right direction, is massive. I'm getting kind of emotional, it's weird. Chuffed to bits. Absolutely chuffed to bits with this one. Really, really happy. Cannot wait to now get this thing fully completed in the next Hermitcraft episode. But for now, potatoes. Hmm. Hello? Look, you know, you know I have to go and fetch my headphones from whatever drawer they've been placed in so that you don't <laughs> complain at me the entire time. You know how this works, dude. You know I'm not prepared for this sort of thing. Hmm. 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 What? I, uh, I'm thinking. Yeah? I'm just out of a thinking walk. So you're just out thinking? I am just out thinking, yes. Right. You know, sometimes you just gotta, <laughs> you just gotta go for a walk and think. Again, you've decided, and you've just, you've just placed a sign that is you thinking. You've written your thinking hmm. noises. Yeah, yeah. I think it's completely normal, to be fair. Uh, by the way, did you place this pressure plate? Who placed this pressure plate? No, I did not. But I did complain <laughs> about it when I visited this yeah, house. Yeah, what? Because I was like, I, I was in the middle of the night. I yeah. was chased by zombies. Yeah. And and they kept walking in because <laughs> it's the, the thing. Stupid pressure plate. It wasn't me. I'm trying to work this out. I thought maybe you you were the you were the maybe the culprit of it. And I don't know why I, I thought this. But then, mm. you, you, no, no, it wasn't. You know what you need to do though. Maybe you need to have a thinking walk about who did this. Join I'm, me. I'm Join me now. I'm trying hmm. to I'm trying to think about what on earth this even is. Hmm, that's something to think about. So what hmm. well that's very that's like the opposite. So what so I should just be thinking about the fact that I'm having to think about the fact that I'm having to th Oh, this is a this is a loop. I don't I don't think we need to judge what we think about. Okay. All we need to do is uh, what's that? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Think. Th yes. Should we see who can do it the longest? Okay. <laughs> this okay. is this is the least ah. entertaining video content I can possibly <laughs> think of. Another another. No, 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 no. All right, we commit no. to this. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Hmm. <laughs> I only lost because I was laughing. Wait, let me start. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's, that's that's good though. That's so annoying. I'm <laughs> normally so good at that sort of thing as well. I can normally, oh man, I have iron lungs, literally. I can't believe I lost. It's only because I started laughing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, it's no, it's a good reason tree. to lose something. Yeah. It's a good reason to lose. Okay, well. Oh, yeah, you have to. Um, I know, I have to replant that. That's super How's annoying. Your, uh, we haven't spoken much this season. How is your... Um, yeah, it's going well. No killing. Yeah, no, I still haven't killed anything. I'm doing well there. Uh, I know, I, I, but I do have ways of getting around it. Like I, I just do, I just do this, and then. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I mean, I personally, if you, if you, if you, you just hold, if you just drop down here, then we can destroy it, and you won't actually get hurt. So we're all good there, because it's oh. just. It's, oh really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty good at these <laughs> wait, things. Wait, these. wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> oh. See, there, your thinking walk has has generated some information that you didn't actually know about. So I guess, yeah. I guess that's yeah. good. You called me a loophole. That seems, <laughs> that, seems, that seems like an insult. I don't know why it seems like an insult. Yeah. Maybe someone so called me maybe, a loophole. Maybe you can think about it. Maybe you should think about it. I, I mean, maybe. I, I give you some presents for this. You oh. have... You have cleared my mind. 
I know that's, what to do now. That's, that's good. All right, buddy. Mm. Always nice Goodbye. to see you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> see you later. Nice to see you too. <laughs> well, that was frankly incredibly baffling. Anyway, as I was saying, potatoes. At this current point in time, this is how I get my XP. I go over to the pass and gas. The pass? The pass and gas? Is it the, the pass and gas? <laughs> this name doesn't quite work so well for English people. I should really lean into my outfit a little bit more and call it the pass and gas. Pass and gas! Well, whatever it's called, all I do is I chuck a diamond into here, and then this happens, and things get mended up. And it's incredibly satisfying, but it is also quite expensive because I have to come here often. Often. So it's time to activate my spuds. Having been on a long thinking walk, I've come up with a good plan of a way to generate XP making use of potatoes. This farm generates far too many potatoes for any sane person to eat. I mean, I'm literally a potato. I'm made entirely of potato and this is still too much potato for me. So I'm going to convert these ridiculous potato supplies into a peaceful XP farm. And the first stage of this seems a little bit of a shame, but it is entirely necessary. And that is to clear out the potato storage. That is a lot of potatoes to be burned. That is, that is so many potatoes. And it's only going to increase. I mean, this is, how many potatoes am I burning at this point in time? It's definitely, it's in the many thousands. 77,000 potatoes are currently being wiped off the face of the planet. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm sure it's unrelated, but the server does seem to be struggling a tiny bit at this point in time. It's probably scheduled maintenance or something. Maybe the whole internet has slowed down a little bit. Just in general, unrelated to this peace loving plants. So with all of those drowns mysteriously self-immolating, now the hallway is cleared for us to actually get this thing in place. And to be honest, it is actually a ridiculously simple system. Placing the barrels, however, is clearly not so simple. To get people up to speed, for people who are potentially confused, when you take items out of a furnace, then you get XP. And the more items that have flown through that furnace, the more XP that you receive. So our potatoes will run up this item elevator, make their way around here, and then end up in these furnaces. They will smelt up in the furnaces and eventually fill up these barrels down at the bottom. And once this barrel and the hopper behind it is filled, they will then start to back up through the furnace and they won't drop through, which means I can grab them out of this slot. And when I do this, I should be inundated with tons and tons of XP orbs. However, there is one thing that I haven't thought of. This is gonna use a lot of fuel, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How have I not thought of that? I mean, I even, I put in the barrels and I put in the hoppers and things for the fuel, but I didn't think about how many bits of coal or how many blaze rods it would take to smelt a full barrel of potatoes. And then to do that 15 times over, that's, that's a lot. Now there is one potential option and that is to make use of lava buckets. But that is going to use a lot of iron. And I'll have to go to the nether every time I want to refuel it. But then again, I could potentially make a new lava farm making use of dripstone. I could do that. That would be good. But that that requires loads of cauldrons and also loads of buckets. So I'm, I'm definitely going to need an iron farm. And potentially a dripstone farm. Because I need to get the dripstone spiky things to then make... The la the, well, I need to I need to make an iron farm so I can get the cauldrons and a dripstone farm so I can get the dripstone and then I could make my lava farm so that I can fuel my XP farm. What? This is the most long-winded way of getting XP I've ever heard of, but it's all in the name of humanity. I don't want to cause damage to those poor defenseless and very noisy endermen over at the enderman farm to get XP, so this is the only way that we can possibly do it. Alright, let's get this thing filled in then. So... I mean, how many am I going to need? I guess just one full barrel of lava buckets each time. I guess before I spend a bunch of time and a bunch of iron getting all of the buckets ready for this entire system, I should probably do a proof of concept with the original first furnace. That would actually be smart. Like, that would be an intelligent thing to do. A rare intelligent thought from me. Now I know what you're thinking. How on earth could a contraption so incredibly simple break? Well, there is one little thing. Say, for example, this first furnace fills up a little bit too quick for one single furnace but doesn't fill up fast enough for consistent double furnace it's going to absolutely eat through the lava buckets because you see as soon as one potato goes in here this lava bucket is then lit is is used up and even if no more potatoes come through that entire lava bucket is going to get used so we could end up with a super inefficient fuel source now the solution to this problem 
would be to make it so that, well, first off, we'd have to reduce the number of modules that we'd have. We'd probably have to have a gap between each one of them. And then we'd make it so that unless this barrel was filled or the bottom barrel in any of the modules was filled, then the next one wouldn't be able to fill up. So as soon as this barrel gets fully filled up with potatoes, there's no more room for any more, then the next module would be able to start filling. But unless that is the case, then none of them would be able to fill up past that point. So I've identified a potential future problem that hasn't happened just yet, but I can foresee it. And I've also thought of the solution. I mean, I really am. My brain is on fire today. My two brain spuds are really doing the work. And now Impulse is here and he's probably going to blow this spud to bits. Do you mind if I just make my way over to Harmless Harvests quickly? There, I mean, I've just <laughs> stocked the end crystals. <laughs> Oh, you did! Oh, cool, because, yeah, they've been out for a long time, and yeah. I ran out a long time ago. Right. But I just was walking around with obsidian in my inventory for no reason. Okay, so. okay, okay. Honestly, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. It's just uh -huh. like some kind of weird dance that we have to do, right? It's just like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little, little, little awkward. I mean, I, I was hoping to... Um, I, I was just checking on you because <laughs> you, you weren't moving in a while and I was right. worried about you in there. Right. You know. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so it's one of those ones. Well, just know that my end crystals are primed. So if, you, if you're ever in the area, just, just be aware that... Okay. I mean, I, I'm not very good at threatening things, to be honest with you. I'm you keep them on you at all times, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I've got at least half a stack at all times. I'm pretty armed and deadly. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this, my boy. I got an idea. Okay. You know, you 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 have you have your, your whole standoff thing. What if yeah. we do it a little differently? Right. Okay. Okay. Is it, what, anything around here that we care about blowing up? I mean... Let's go near, near Green's base. Okay. That's, okay. that's probably a good spot, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Okay. Okay. Now, oh! No, you, 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 you jumped the gun a little too fast there. I'm surprised okay. I didn't die then. That was quite impressive. <laughs> okay. Here's here's what I'm thinking. Right. Ten paces away, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I got I need another block here. Okay. And one, ten. Two, okay, can you back up ten or is it too six, close to my <laughs> Yeah, you've placed this in the worst possible spot. So oh, dang. Okay. Ten. Maybe okay. we go less. Maybe we you got it? Okay. I think so. Now. Now the key is we we race to the obsidian. <laughs> this is and guaranteed. Whoever places death. it wins. No, we'll be okay. Whoever right? places it, what and <laughs> whoever places it and blows it up wins. Uh okay. It's like a race. It's okay, like but then, but then really I'll, okay. but then I'll be really close to it. Like if I if I'm racing to place it, and then okay, well whatever. I, you know what, you know what, I, I'm down to give this a go. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm done. A little spin on the game here. You ready? Okay. I'm gonna count us off. Three, two, one, go. Wait. <laughs> Wait, you! Wait, <laughs> you didn't even try. Yeah, because you almost got there. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I feel... That wasn't. You didn't I really try, man. I, I did try, but then I saw that you were way faster than me. So then obviously I'm gonna stand back so that I don't get blown uh... up by it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> See, I, I, I've learned now that actually being close is the way to go. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, what, yeah, go so ahead. Go ahead. See? No, I took, like, I, I took loads <laughs> of damage then. <laughs> what? Did you? Yeah. I like almost oh, okay. died. I feel, oh, okay. I, feel like, I feel like your tips aren't very good. <laughs> I mean, that would have been quite comical if it got us both, wouldn't it have been? <laughs> No, do you like, want to oh, yeah, it'll, be, it'll definitely be fine. Just walk right up to it. I mean, the real tip is it is... Oh! Oh, wait, okay. wait. Hang on. Why did I almost die again? What's going on? Well, just keep trying. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. Okay. Well, I mean, how close to death are you? Uh, uh, close enough. Oh, close enough. Okay. I, I was I was hoping that zombie would actually finish you off. Oh my goodness, that would have been so embarrassing. Well, All right. Well, the, real tip, the real tip. The real tip is is if you're below it, uh -huh. then you're fine. So it's like, if you just. Oh yeah. Are you taking nothing? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh man. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that did. That one actually hurt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got loads okay. more where these come from, by the way. And I mean, uh, it works well for me if we're in these fights because you're having to buy them from me. Exactly. So I was is... going to say, this is part of your marketing strategy, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Is initiate this war, but with the items you're selling. Excellent. Yeah. Very smart. It's, very smart. It's mumbo. Perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, just oh, know well, I, well. I've got eyes in the back of my head. All right. If I mm -hmm. if I if I hear end crystals being placed, you best believe I'm switching around and I'm going to be placing okay. them as well. Okay. All right. I know. I'm the fastest slinger in the West. I know. So I got to be careful. Yeah. So we managed to survive another end crystal fight again. So that right there is the concept of our XP grinder. This right here is a rather gigantic terraforming project that I've made solid progress on today. I cannot overstate how important getting this done was for my own mental sanity. And we've also done some goofing around with Impulse and some goofing around with this gal. This has been a very fun episode on the Hermitcraft server. I really do hope that you've enjoyed it. It's been a blast and I will catch you in the next one. See ya. And I just want to round up this episode by saying I really do hope that you don't mind me sharing the intricacies of why I go through creating a Hermitcraft episode. I don't want to bring the mood down at all, but sometimes, you know, I am, I am human and it can be really difficult to open up Minecraft and actually start recording a video, especially if I'm stressed about what I'm creating. So, yeah.